care so much. My whole life has been decorated with compliments because my hair is red, wild, and unique, and my eyes are the most dazzling shade of blue, and my skin is so rosy and dappled with freckles that I've always been told are the kisses of angels. I've gotten used to people liking Isabella O'Grady more than they like Isabella Cruz, and so I've been trained to count my blessings that my father's genetics have been overpowered by my mother's muddled out with the pretty colors of an Irish girl. But what are angel kisses to full eyebrows? What is pale skin to the width of my hips? What is clear articulation to the fullness of my lips? They don't even hold a flame to these attributes that everyone seems to want to block out. Is it pity? Do you think that you're helping me thrive by ignoring the unideal half of me? I am more Puerto Rican than I will ever be Irish. My father was actually born in Puerto Rico. My mother was born in upstate New York. So why are her genetics seem to be the pure ones? Why is she more valuable? You're in the wrong line. White people ask me why I care so much about the acknowledgement of racism and white privilege and all of the things that a good Aryan girl would brush under the rug. And embarrassment makes me blush and laugh out and I don't know, man. But Cruz screams from the depths of my diaphragm demanding that I explain. And that night on the red and gold coat of arms shakes his head at me in disappointment for my cowardice. And no, I'm not ashamed, but rather I'm defeated from the amount of no, you're not Puerto Rican. wounded, not conquered, and though I call that family crust mine, it only belongs to my red hair and my blue eyes and my angel kisses and my pale skin. Black haired, tan skin, brown eyed, Hispanic girl within me has never felt the shielding embrace of wounded, not conquered. Instead, she feels the stab of her friend's parents talking about dirty Puerto Ricans as they don't realize they're who, who they're in the presence of. Instead, she feels the punch in the face of her father being told that this is America and he needs to learn to speak English right if he wants to live here. Instead, she feels the breaking of her ribs as she's tossed from box to box because no matter how hard anyone tries to crumple her up and store her in one, she just doesn't quite fit right because her nose is too wide for the white box and her complexion is too pale for the brown one. And the look she gets when she sits at the Olive Garden across from her darker skinned father, the concern, as though they all assume he just kidnapped her off the streets no matter how many times she calls him dad at the dinner table because they can only see color. genetic code is seen as favorable to my father's pure one because I've gone my whole life having racist jokes whispered to me because if I looked like my father's daughter half of you wouldn't even be listening to the words coming out of my mouth right now. My whole life has been decorated in compliments because my hair is red wild and unique and my eyes are the most dazzling shade of blue and my skin is so rosy and dappled with freckles that I've always been told are the kisses of angels but all of that is only half of me because for every inch of red in my hair there's a spiraling curl and my eyes are bright blue but the eyebrows framing them are broad and full and my rosy skin and clusters of freckles are stretched around the framework of wide hips none of which 